And when the movie, when they finished the movie, they had me back, they had me back uh, like eight or nine months later, and they didn't have any money, I was in LA, and I, I moved against a little screen, it was uh, illegal, you know, non-union type of stuff, they wanted to correct a couple lines. Then they gave me a paragraph, and they said, uh, say that, will you just uh, say it? I said, what is that? And then I looked at it, and I read it, you know, I had to work on it, you know, twice, and it's the opening, it's the opening uh, voiceover. Down there, you know, and they just threw that. We threw that in, you know, you know, six months later. I didn't know it wasn't such rich dialogue. Is it fun to read? The, the dialogue? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what, what, what there is there. I mean, come on. The uh, <laughs> I don't know, the public. But the, my big mistake was uh, it opened. It opened. It closed the New York Film Festival. I didn't know. And they, they someone called me and said, "Do you want to go to New York for the film festival?" And I said, oh, what are the, what, what, how do they fly it? They said, no, you got to go on your own, you know. And I said, what are you doing? And then we just, uh, you know, when the movie ends, you just get up and say hi and sit down, you know. And I said, how oh, the hell with it? So then it opened in New York, and Christ, it, it, all the reviews in the world, and all they did, you know, and I, I, I'm sitting back in Hollywood going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let's give uh, people a chance to ask Alex some questions. Uh, before we head into the main part of the night. Oh, this guy just shot a hand right up. <laughs> uh, you were talking about, uh, about Budweiser and whiskey, and it reminded me how much I loved your work with uh, Michael Keaton in Clean and Sober. Can you talk a little bit about that film? Uh, my father was a, was a raging, uh, periodic drunk. He was a U.S. Customs officer, always on the edge of getting fired up there in Vermont, you know, and it was a pretty good job for up there. And my job was, as the youngest of two boys, I was the one that was all trying to get him. Had to sit there and listen to him. He's a, he's a real bender. He's a real, really did it. And uh, I had a real handle on alcoholism and, and how AA works. Because my my father never joined AA until much until much much later. And uh, the uh, so when it when it came to it with with Michael with the AA stuff and everything, it. Uh, it, it was, you know, I knew what we were trying to do, the uh, the deceit and the lying, you know, the, you know, you know, and the, also the, the one thing I did that uh, I had him in a restaurant or something, a coffee shop, and I said, tell me the story, tell me the story, just listening to it, and I sat there eating ice cream sundaes, and uh, uh, one of the ways you deal with addiction is to create a new another addiction. So my man had become a sugar freak or something, you know, in my mind's eye. And I sat there, I sat there for, for seven hours eating, eating uh, chocolate sundaes. And I never gave up because I didn't want it to look like, you know, that, that you know, like, and, I, and that's, it, you know, I got incredibly sick, but that's what it was. You know, that's what it was because I knew that's the, the addiction thing to it. And then when I hear, then when I hear Michael pulling the cons and so forth, you know, you know what it's all about. Did I answer your question? You're lucky. Shut up. <laughs> the, uh, okay. Hey, there's a back row. Hi, I didn't know you were way back there. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, we start the movie, you know. Uh, I've seen clips today that I hadn't seen in 30 years. I mean, it's kind of funny. But uh, they're all my children. You know. <laughs> you know. You look at them and say, "What the hell?" But. There's nothing. There's nothing I'm ashamed of. Some of them are kind of Turkish, but uh, I was brought in initially when they started doing. You know, they say, uh, "Well, this is a piece of crap." Get Walsh. He 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 he'll, he'll bring some life to it. And I was I was hired in in the beginning for a lot of that. You know, if I walked on screen or I walked on stage, balls climbed. That was real. So then they could believe that was real. Then all the crap I had to say, they say, "Well, maybe they'll forget it." You know, you know that's, that's why I was brought in. You know, I just project reality somehow. Well, it's, it's very, we're, I can't wait to see your next film. Uh, it's been a wonderful uh, career as movie fans to watch all these films. It's been uh, you've a lot of pleasure and you've improved a lot of movies that, need, that needed it and some that didn't, that just, you just took it to another level. So thank you. I think let's give uh, Mr. Walter a